Hello, welcome to the course, HTML5 Mobile App Development for Beginners. My name's Ashley Minhenna, and you can find me on Twitter at Ash Minhenna, and this is a course brought to you by Zenva. So let's talk about the main goal of this course. And the main goal of this course is to learn how to use HTML5 to create cross-platform applications that can be run on almost any device, including mobile devices, tablets, and general PCs. So here's a quick look at our final project that we'll be making. We'll be working towards creating this. We have a view contact section using the new HTML5 href attribute values, the tel and SMS for telephone and SMS. And we've got a map. I'll just allow this and we'll have a map rendering in a few seconds. And there we go. We have a map that's completely navigable and it's provided by the Google Maps API. So let's hide the map for now. Take a look at the camera. Allow this. Hi guys, all the way from Australia. Let's take a photo and we have a photo. Let's close this down and we'll head into our media library. And in here we can click on our media and we have a downloadable file which is a PNG of that image. So that's just a quick overview of the final project we'll be working towards. So let's talk about what an actual HTML5 app is. Well an app in general, an application, provides a certain functionality to the end user. And as you may have guessed, HTML5 apps are made with web-based technologies, including HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. An application can be quite different to a website, where a website is generally used to allow the user to see some form of information, whereas an application provides a specific or general purpose functionality. So when we're working with the mobile web, including mobile web design and mobile app development, there are a few considerations we must take on board. This includes limited internet connectivity, the fact that the device may have less resources than a general PC, and the range of device screen sizes. We could be working with a Samsung Note 3, an iPhone 5, or a 30 inch screen monitor. So we need to be able to accommodate for all these different kinds and widths and heights of these screens. But the most important thing to remember is to always think about the end user when you're developing or designing applications in general. So let's go through some of the course content. We'll start off with some mobile HTML5 and CSS3 design fundamentals. Then we'll head on down to some JavaScript APIs. Then onto some Ajax that we'll be using with jQuery. And then we'll go on to build the final project. So just some small requirements for this course. Number one, a basic knowledge of HTML, CSS and JavaScript a web browser. I'll be using Google's Chrome Canary as we'll be making use of one of the new features of this browser provided by Google, which is device emulation, which is really, really cool. So I recommend downloading Chrome Canary. You can find that through a basic Google search and a text editor. I'll be using Sublime Text 2. Here's some of Zenva's tutorial blogs that I recommend you check out. Game Dev Academy at gamedevacademy.org and HTML5 Hive at html5hive.org and another Spanish site for Spanish speakers. I do apologize, I can't pronounce this website, but you can find that at deideaapp.org. You can also find us on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Fariaz2 and at Twitter at Zenva Tweets and on Facebook 
at facebook.com forward slash Zemvadev. So without further ado, let's get started.